How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is an RPG Maker tutorial and I thought I'd do something really cool. This is my take on a simplified uh, transportation system using uh, common events, uh, button common events, and uh, picture common events from Yanfly plugin. So we're on the map, we'll walk around, blah, blah, blah. We press a button and we load a little mini map that pops up. Well, it's not really a mini map, it's a map. You, you load a, a sector map. And you can design uh, if you want it to be the whole world map. If you press it again, it goes away. You can bind it to whatever button you want. So I'm just pressing like the little uh, uh, squiggly line in the top left corner of the keyboard. But you can bind it to whatever uh, you want. I did notice one problem with it though. If you're using uh, the keyboard config and you use button common events, it kind of messes it up. There's some compatibility there. So uh, sometimes you have to leave things to default keyboard layout for them to, to work. But uh, I didn't know that, so knowing this now, um, when I play other people's games in the future, instead of switching to WASD as I normally do, I'm going to leave it default in case they do push uh, uh, buttons that are, you know, uh, you know, pushed to play a common event. I don't want to mess that up. So anyway, um, that's one stipulation of the plugin. But basically, I'll, let me show you before I actually get into it. Um, we press a button, it loads the map, shows the picture right. Big deal. But we can uh, click somewhere where we have one of these little things and it plays some animations, whatever you want it to do, and then it teleports us to that location on the map. We can load up our map again, teleport over here to the Coliseum. And it's really easy, lets the player get around the world map, and there's no in world encounters, so it's just, it's just going to save the player time if he needs to go back to town, he can just go like this instead of uh, having to walk all the way back through town, or all the way across the map. And then you could just teleport back to the Coliseum if you wanted, or whatever. But anyway, um, let's jump into this tutorial. If this is something that interests you, you'll learn how to do it in this tutorial. I'll try to make it as simple as I can. So let's jump into it. No, we're not playing Eve. We're going to do this. <laughs> if you play Eve online, let me know in the comments below. Please let me know. I'm going to put another corp together and see if we can get something going on. Let's uh, jump into it here. Okay, so we're going to use uh, common events, and we're going to set up one common event for the tele map, uh, which is going to be like the picture, and one common event for each location. You could do th all the locations in one common event, and then have a conditional uh, switch that checks to see if a uh, uh, switch is on, and when you click it, you can have that other event uh, toggle a switch that, that does this, so eliminating the need for a bunch of common events. But it's very simple to just to make one common event for each telepoint. You're not going to have that many telepoints, and you've got as many common events as you need, right? So this is the easier way. We'll go with that way. So let's start with the telemap. So we'll do one conditional statement with an else handler. And we're going to say if this switch is on, uh, then do this. Otherwise, do that. Um, so just pick whatever switch you want. That's the only switch we're going to need for that. And then if uh, it is on, then you're going to control switch, just turn it off. And then on the else handler, you're going to say turn that switch on and now for the pictures you can pick whatever numbers you want that you're not already using and then um, for when the tile map one is on you want to erase pictures whatever you call the first picture is the background picture you know the map and then the other pictures are all the telepoints that we're gonna click on so you had the background map and then you had three telepoints so that's why I have four pictures here and you can see how I set it up here or if the switch is off when we press the button because we're calling this common event 35 when we press a button. Uh, so 35 is the one we're going to link to button common events. And then 36, 37, 38 are what we're going to link to picture common events. So we'll see that we've got... Um, let's look at the show picture here. So we'll just edit that. <clears throat> like I said, pick whatever number you want. Um, but select the picture you want to use. I'm selecting this one. I just made it in Photoshop. Um, I'll show you a trick on how... It, I made the, the picture, you can do it any way you want. Set the destination, the origin to uh, upper left because you want it, you know, it's, it's going to be a big boxy picture, it's easier to align it, zero, zero. To, but anyway, once you get this one, it's going to be the side, the, the tile map, oh, I'm sorry about that, the, uh, the telemap picture it should be the size of the resolution of your screen, um, or pretty large, 
and then the other ones would be much smaller. So you can even scale this up here, there. I, I made the size of the picture the same size as the resolution of the game, so the 100% fully covers it. I made the edges transparent. Um, but anyway, blend mode is up to you, whatever you want to do with that. That's for the first one. Um, for the second one, you want to find some sort of uh, art for like a circle or arrow or whatever you want. There's plenty that you can use the Antifly's icon generator even. Um, and then you pick one, and then you're going to probably want to scale that down quite a bit. And then this is this is the part that's going to take you a little bit of time. You're going to have to finagle the, these X and Y locations where you want the orb to appear on the map, right? So you'll change these numbers around a little bit and then hit OK and look at it and see where it's at. And then like, OK, it's a little bit... It needs to go to the right a little bit more. Okay, so we'll add to the X. Oh, it needs to go down a little bit. Okay, so we'll add to the Y. Right? If it needs to go up, we'll subtract from the Y. If it needs to go left, we'll subtract from the X. Pretty simple. And you do that for everything. Blend mode's all up to you. But you do that for each point you want to have. Um, of course, you're going to want to make the art um, beforehand. So what I did is a little trick, and I'll show you. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, um, so what I do is, you you can right click and go generate or, or save as image, but it never saves for me. It never saves, so I don't get it. But what I do is I get the picture I want. Like say I, I get this picture and I want to zoom in, or I want to zoom out quite a bit, and I want to get this whole map. What I'll do is I'll get the best representation of it on the screen here, and then I press the print screen button on your keyboard. Then I'll jump into Photoshop. Let's see where I got it. Here we go. And then I'll go File New, and it'll automatically take the resolution of the screens that I print. I got two monitors up, so it's going to take both monitors. I don't think anything's revealing on the other screen anyway, so um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and OK. And then what we're going to do is press Control V. That's going to paste your screens in. We're going to zoom in a couple times with control on the plus, and we're going to go over here and we're going to take this little marquee tool, and we're going to select in the map here. We're going to go down to right there. And we'll just press control X or control C, and then we're going to close our print screen. We don't need that. We're not going to save that. But then we can hit file new or whatever. It's going to take that resolution, and you can even change it if you know it's going to be something different. We'll hit OK, and I'll hit paste. Now you've got this image. Now you can use this image as your um, your telepoint. All you got to do is file, save as a PNG file, and put that inside your pictures uh, folder. And that's all you really got to do. And then you can use it. You could even go further with it if you wanted to go like, uh, let's say, let's do this. We'll go ahead and uh, free transform, and then we'll scale it down a little bit. And we can go like this and scale it to whatever resolution we want, we'll hit OK. We'll take this background right here and we'll just erase all the background with the magic eraser. Boom. Oh, we've got to deselect first. Okay, here we go. And we'll magic eraser the background. Now it's transparent. Uh, and we can press Control Shift N, add another layer um, underneath the other map. And then we could do whatever we want, like a gradient or something. With, and then we'll add uh, opacity so this is see-through and we'll say this is like a 25 no we'll say 55 percent whatever this is just some ideas for you add another layer and then this layer will be um, I don't know we'll use the eraser tool on this and we'll just go like uh, or actually we need to do a gradient first don't we so we'll do another gradient on that one at a different angle but then we'll take the eraser tool and we'll just sort of kind of squiggle along I'm gonna do it fast because I need to move on but you get the idea right and you can sort of mess around with it and have like a, a, a background to it. So it's just not like, you could even, you could even place, let's go ahead and press control shift and, and uh, add a new layer. And you can even use existing art that's inside here, like, uh, like this parchment, right? And it's underneath it, so, so we can't really see it. But if we stretch it out a little bit, we'll be able to do that and go like this. And now you've got like some sort of better border to it and you got more of an interesting looking picture to show right you save that as a PNG so that's all you really gotta do that's all the artwork to it it's not hard um, okay so we got our artwork what plugins do we need you're gonna need Yanflies um, a core engine of course but you're also going to need um, button common events right here and you're gonna need picture common events 
this one. So let's look at them. In button common events, I'm using this button right here, the little squiggly button, to call common event number 35, which is our controller uh, common event that, that toggles the show pictures and hides the pictures. But when the pictures are showed, so that's all, that's all we have to do for that, is assign one common event. So all I did right there is I double clicked right here and I said, okay, I'm using, I want to call common event 35 when I press this button. So I put that number and that's as simple as it gets. So um, picture common events, we're doing three things here. So I took reference of what pictures I'm calling because you're going to need to know that. So I, I'm calling picture 43, 44, and 45 for those, it's the same picture, but it's in three, uh, a, three instances of it, right? So when I... When I release my, my click button, my mouse click, on the same spot that picture number 43 is at, it's going to play common event 36. And then the same thing when I click on picture 44 where it's at and I release it, then it's going to play common event 37 and the same thing for 38 there. So you see how that's set up. Really easy, right? So we'll look at those common events one last time. This is the, the controller common event, it's conditional branch. If a switch is on, then erase the pictures and turn off that switch. Otherwise, if the switch is off, then show all the pictures, the map, and all the buttons that we're going to be able to click on and turn on the switch. Um, and that's it for the controller. So while this is on and we're, seeing, we're looking at the map, we're going to have the option to click on picture 43, 44, or 45. So when we do, we have to tell the game to erase all those pictures, uh, all the other pictures, because it'll teleport us and it'll keep the picture on the screen because we never told it to get rid of it. So um, get rid of it. So... We erase pictures 42, 43, 44, 45, and turn off the switch. The same thing as on the the else handlers if we toggle, toggle off the map. right? So we basically copy-paste that, put it there at the top. And then underneath that, you show animation. This is flavor, flash, whatever you want. Show text, animation, scroll, whatever you want to do, right? Uh, I did a bunch of animations because I thought it looked cool. It's a good combination of different uh, effects. And then you just transfer the player. And that's it. You select where you want that location to go. And you do the same thing. So you, once you get it, once you copy paste the whole thing and just change the transfer event, copy paste. So once you set it up once, it's easy to expand, right? You add another picture, another erase picture for all instances, and then change the you know copy paste to another common event, link it up to the picture common events plugin, and then just change the transfer event. And then there you go. You got your uh, custom made, uh, mostly evented with some uh, some uh, common event plugins. A nice little teleportation system for your game. And you can expand upon this too. You could even set it to a home point. Like, you can uh, have a show choices if you want. I like using uh, pictures and clicking with the mouse better than more menu based. So this is this is like graphic based. And then if I just do like a show choice, it's very menu based. So. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please smash that like button. Thumbs up really is appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots of RPG Maker MV tutorials. I do Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials. Um, do first impressions videos, all kinds of different stuff. Thank you everybody who's backing me on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.